Today I'm going to show you guys how to do the tuning for a Sovereign controller. It's pretty easy, but you got to know how to do it right. So come on, let's take a look. The tuning is done through the MCON app. The first thing you need to do is follow the wire to the display. This is where the display plugs into the controller and a little farther down is a three pin connector which we need to unplug for it to work. This is the fault settings for the display so the display will take over any changes that you make if this is not unplugged while doing a hull test or tuning. So we're going to unplug this and turn on the bike. You know you unplug the right connector when you get a communication error on the display. So let me show you how this works. Here's the MCON app. We're going to download it and open it up. And it should connect automatically. If you're a first time user, you'll just click here and you'll see the option to connect the device. We're going to start with the whole test. Go to the wrench, given current, we're going to change this to 10. Sometimes you need to set it higher if it doesn't work for whatever reason. Then we go to test mode. And now before we push the whole test button, we're going to elevate the wheel. And the wheel is going to slightly spin until test status says test OK. Once your wheel is elevated, now you can push the whole test button. And you'll see the motor will spin very slowly until it says test OK at the bottom. We're going to turn it from test mode back to normal operation. Turn the given current back to zero and hit save in the upper right hand corner twice to make sure that it saves. So I'm going to show you guys how to tune this beast. So break out your MCON app and let's get this thing rolling. So we're going to hit the up arrow and we're already on parameters. Let's hit the settings button and we're going to scroll down where you see flux, weaken, enable, which in your case it'll be off, but you're gonna turn that on. And then turn the flux, weaken, current up. Yours will either be set at zero or at 30, but 50 is as high as it goes and that's the max power the bike can give. So once you save that, Hit the save button twice in the upper right hand corner and you're good to go. Now that we got the whole test and the tuning saved, let's double check and make sure that it's saved. So turn off the bike and exit out of your app. And now we're going to turn the bike back on and go back into the app. And if it saved, you're all good and we're good to plug back in that three pin connector and you'll see the commu communication error go away. No more communication error. Good to go. The tuning is done and so is the hull test. And one more thing guys, just so you know, you gotta keep the Bluetooth device plugged in at all times. And that's it. So if you guys ever have any questions about how to do the tuning on your bike or it's giving you a hard time, feel free to shoot me a text or message me on Facebook or YouTube or anything like that. Have a good one, guys. See you next time.